Positively San Diego with Jim Patton. From conducting heart cell experiments while in orbit to helping NASA develop new spacesuits for the return to the moon, UCSD grad Kate Rubens making a positively San Diego impact in her career with NASA as a microbiologist and an astronaut. She recently returned from a six-month mission to the International Space Station, and I had a chance to talk to her about some of the cool things she's up to. What's that been like? Uh, in terms of getting back to your physical self. We just go slow and steady and we do a lot of uh, strength work as we're, as we're reconditioning and getting all of our small muscles used to the planet again and walking upright <laughs> instead of floating. <laughs> Astronaut Kate Rubens, who earned a degree in molecular biology at UCSD and went on to achieve her doctorate at Stanford, has been back on Earth for a little over two months after spending the previous 185 days in the microgravity of Earth orbit on the International Space Station. One of the experiments that I worked on that we're still analyzing the data from was a cardiomyocyte experiment. So those are the those are the kinds of cells that make up your heart. Dr. Rubin says a study in microgravity seeks to understand why the heart tends to enlarge in space, while also increasing the overall understanding of this condition as it can occur on the planet below. So one of the reasons that we do research on these is that a lot of these have similarities to diseases back on Earth. And so, you know, things like um, the blood flow and the optic disc edema, we learn things in space that that actually can help disease populations on Earth. Optic disc edema, by the way, has to do with the swelling of the eye. While her latest findings are being analyzed, Dr. Rubens is now working with NASA on developing a new spacesuit for the long-term return to the moon. We're now going to be doing geology and science on the lunar surface. So you'll be doing things like bending down and and working with instruments. So that's a, a very different way of operating in the suit. And we're really looking forward to seeing these uh, upgraded suits go through the development process. It's a broad spectrum of knowledge and insight applied by NASA astronauts, but there's always room for a simple sense of wonder and detachment. Uh, I loved going over and, and looking at Coronado Island and, and seeing San Diego. I always waved, I, I feel like it's home. That's awesome. Of course, the caveat being when we don't have a marine layer. Yes. <laughs> well, you can see it coming in off the coast and then and then you can see inland. So it's it's pretty cool actually to see that. Very cool. Now Dr. Rubens tells me latest data she gathered on heart cells in space is currently being studied by other scientists and the results of those findings will eventually be published. And San Diego is lucky to get a few waves from space. Astronauts Jessica Meir, Megan MacArthur, who's presently on board the ISS, also studied at UCSD and Scripps.